Holt has asked, uh, can I speak about the uh, pros and cons of speed density versus mass airflow sensor tuning? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think this is something that's maybe quite misunderstood in the industry in general. So the two techniques of tuning our engines uh, generally uh, fall into either using a mass airflow sensor or a speed density system. By far the most common approach in factory ECUs, so OE cars, is to use a mass airflow sensor. And what that mass airflow sensor is doing is it's directly measuring the mass of air entering the engine. Now remember if we go back to the lesson, air-fuel ratio, it's the mass of air to the mass of fuel. So if the ECU knows exactly and accurately what mass of air is entering the engine, it's really easy for it to calculate what fuel delivery is required in order to achieve a specific air-fuel ratio. One of the nice things with a mass airflow sensor is it compensates for changes in barometric pressure, air density, uh, air temperature. It's always telling the ECU the actual mass of air that is entering the engine. Speed density on the other hand does not use the mass airflow sensor, instead it uses a manifold absolute pressure sensor. It's measuring the manifold pressure inside the inlet manifold and it's using the ideal gas law to calculate the mass airflow instead of directly measuring it. Now, well tuned, the speed density system does work really, really well. It's the basis that most standalone aftermarket ECUs work on. However, there are some drawbacks. Uh, obviously, because we are calculating the mass airflow rather than directly measuring it, there's a lot more room for uh, error to creep in. And we also need to now apply a whole range of compensations for uh, aspects such as air temperature, barometric correct. Uh, pressure correction, etc. So it uh, it can have uh, some inaccuracies over a well set up mass airflow sensor. Advantages though are that the the speed density system is much simpler in terms of installation. Uh, mass airflow sensors can be very sensitive to airflow reversion, so they're not very well suited to large cams with a lot of overlap. The other problem with the mass airflow sensor is that it does have a specific range or resolution that it can measure across. Uh, so if we take a factory car, heavily modify it and make a lot more power, we can end up flowing more air into the engine than the mass airflow sensor can measure. Uh, there are ways around this as well, but it does get a little bit more complex. So uh, the pros and cons of each, but um, th I think the mass airflow sensor is probably an underrated option and well set up is very, very effective and can also be incredibly quick and easy for us to tune. If you want to know more about EFI tuning, click the link in the video description to take our free six part series of lessons that will show you the fundamentals behind EFI tuning.